What's up everyone, Jay here from Jake's Aviation, back today with another model unboxing and review video. This time we have the two beautiful Aviation 400 Lufthansa A380s, and one in the old livery, one in the new livery. Um, these are some of Aviation 400's first uh, A380 releases. Never had an A380 model like this, where these apparently have detachable gear. Um, that you can have a configuration with the gear up and or gear down. So I'm super excited to dive into these two models. Um, this is gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be a, a longer video because there's these two big boys. Um, but we'll get right on into it. We'll start with the uh, the old livery since that was the original one, and that's the first one, D dash Delta dash Alpha India Mike Alpha, uh, the first one uh, that Lufthansa got, and then we'll go on to the new livery one, uh, Delta dash Alpha India Mike Charlie. So we'll put this one aside here. And here we go, here's a box, very nice box art. A lot of details and it has the Aviation 400 logo. Take a look down here, all around. The back's pretty plain though. And uh, it's interesting, some specs here on the 380, pretty cool. I love how it shows um, the 800 freighter version and all that never came to be. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. As I said, this is my first Aviation 400 A380, and wow, there's a lot. There's a lot with it. There's a stand, and then I see that. So it looks like the gear. It comes gear up. Okay, so yeah, and you can just kind of put them on. This is such a big model. I'm sorry, like it's hard to get it all in the camera. There we go. So it looks like I need to like get this little bag out of here up in here. Oh, oh there's little uh, spare pieces, I guess, or something. Interesting. Alright, gotta take this all off here. Alright, there we go. Oh, I see. So it looks like there's a little bag with some gear pieces. However, this is taped on here. Okay, so that comes off like so, and then this is the, this is the um, stand, but I won't worry about that. I'll just put that off to the side. <clears throat> All right, so we have a pack with the actual gear, and then a pack with looks like little gear covers and some little picks. Um, it appears that you use to like help get them in and out. That's pretty cool. So. This kind of is a throwback though because I think the only other aircraft that um, I've ever had that have like gear that come off are uh, Dragon Wings ones from back in the day and uh, they're pretty pretty hard to come by now so I'm going to just adjust the camera here a little bit. Um, you can see here's the model We're taking out a lot of packaging, a lot of good packaging plastic and stuff. Very heavy and solid model. Oh wow. Wow. Jeez. All right, got the little foam there too. Wow, this is, jeez, this is incredible. Solid, very, it's kind of greasy though. It's interesting. A couple of fingerprints, I guess, so you can see where they had like a, uh, um, gloves on or I don't know, something. It, it's a little greasy, but that's fine. Um, so very interesting how it's, uh, it's done. You will just attach the gear on. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it back in here for a second. I'm going to get the gear out so we can assemble it here. Might be a little bit of an awkward situation to get it set up here in front of the camera. I'm not sure. All right, so we have all the pieces. Um, very nice. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out the way somewhere. And now somehow, so ow, there's a lot of little aerials and stuff. So somehow now got to get the gear in. So we'll get the nose gear in here first. That just snaps in there. Very nice. Get the main gear. I think they go in. Oh, jeez. Um... I want to say they go in like so. Ooh. 
Oh, wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Then looks like we got the left gear here. Get this in here. Maybe not. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is tough, I'll tell you that. So it looks like, oh yeah, I was on the wrong side, that's why. So that goes there. This goes there, silly me. Okay. And they all stay in very nicely. There we go. All right. There's the gear in. I'm not gonna go ahead and bother and take them out to show you the gear down sort of, uh, or the gear up sort of version. Um, but you get the idea, you have these little pins and the little pieces that just kind of stick in. So they're, it's flush and it'll look good. Um, and that's, I guess, for display on a stand if you want it gear down or gear up. Overall though, um, from what I can tell, this mold, this model, absolutely stunning so far. Just looking at it. We'll take a look here at the detail. Overall, wow. Um, it's a very heavy model. I like the gear situation. It's a very unique sort of detachable gear situation that you can, you know, with the magnets, you can configure it uh, how you'd like. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's not something as say, I think the only other company that I ever saw do that was Dragon Wings way back in the day. Um, and even then, I don't think all their models of gear came off and it, it, they didn't have the magnets um, like these do. But anyway, the detail on this, just looking at this, is is incredible. The, the printing, everything is very sharp. Very nice. A lot of great detail. It looks like a little bit of dust there. So I'm just going to try to wipe that off. But anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front here. So this mold, uh, this is their new new mold. Uh, just came out uh, in the last year. And I believe that they debuted it. And uh, Yesterday Airlines did a review I'm kind of looking over it and everything, but this looks fantastic, guys. The nose, the shape, everything looks really good. I think it's a a great job uh, by them on this. I got a lot of great details there. You got the little Alfonso logo, the Starlines logo, so lots of great details there. The little pedo um, tubes and attitude indicators and stuff right there. The landing gear, uh, very very nice. Great detail there, and you know for being detachable and everything, they're really, really nice. Got the registration there on the gear door M, or well, part of it, Mike Alpha there. Looking very nice. The L1 door there, left on the titles, looking really nice. Um, Airbus A380, and then this aircraft was named Frankfurt, I mean, um, after obviously Frankfurt, which is their hub. Got the good, the nice aerials, got the red antenna on the bottom there, and the white one at the top. You got the two little beacons, I think that's a really unique. Uh, feature right there. You got the L2 door there and then the upper um, L1 door. I guess that would be, I don't know. I'm not sure what that door's name, but I'm maybe L3. I'm not sure, but the upper door there. The side markings. Um, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's take a look here at the engines. All hung very nicely. Um, no, like, tilts or anything. They're very nice. They're well-sized. Uh, well mounted, very sharp looking, very very nice. Take a look here. Looks absolutely fantastic. The wing shape, how this wing kind of flexes out and droops a little bit, is incredible. Very very accurate to how the real aircraft is. Looking very very nice. The winglets, the wing tips look very. The wing tip fences look very sharp. Very nice. But the over wing. Kind of show you here the overwing door there. Uh, no overwing markings, uh, but the wing there's a lot of great more details on the actual wing itself. Um, moving along at the back here, upper doors, and then the aft doors. The registration there, Delta Alpha India Mike Alpha, and the German flag. With the nice tail with the yellow and the Thonza logo. The, I think it's like a stork or something. I forget exactly what it is, but I remember looking it up. 
I just don't remember right now, but uh, very, very nice. I miss the yellow. I do miss the yellow. The new livery looks good because obviously it has more blue and stuff, but the white, I wish they had kept the, just added the blue, more blue and kept the yellow. Um, it looks, it looks really nice with the yellow because, you know, the livery is already white as it is with the blue, but anyway, tail fin and the uh, horizontal stabilizer area looks really, really nice. That looks pretty cool. And uh, on this side, then you got the bulk door, bulk bin door, and the cargo door there at the back. And moving along, you got the forward cargo door there. I know it kind of looks like it's sitting where that's just because the box, it's like a heavy, very heavy model. Here's the underneath, as, I, as you guys saw earlier, and I was putting the gear on, looking really nice. There's a stand hole and everything. Looks very, very nice. Um, lots of great detail. Here's above view. Very nice. Um, I love the gray on the bottom as well. So yeah, this is the original everyone. Very, very nice. Look at that head on view. It's massive. It's incredible. Super excited to have this. Uh, this is my first Lufthansa A380. I've got both now, the old and new livery. So that help you know, bulk up the fleet of Lufthansa a little bit. These guys did serve LA at a point in time. Um, and maybe they will when they come back, who knows. Um, but very, very nice, lots of good aerials uh, in terms of the, oh yeah, there is the little beacon on the bottom as well. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. They actually don't have the little beacon on the bottom. It's just a, it's just a dot. That's interesting. It's probably because of where the gear are there. They didn't want to put that on, but they are on the top though. Which is really nice, and then there's the antennas and the uh, Wi-Fi dome and whatnot. So very, very nice. We'll go ahead and move this out the way, uh, and we'll get to the other one, which we'll do the same. We'll have to put the gear in uh, for it and whatnot. A second, I gotta hide this piece of plastic. All right, so we'll push that off to the side. We'll zoom out here. All right. We'll go ahead and get the other one in here. So here's a new everyone. Uh, I gotta adjust the camera, my bad. There we go. New livery one, guys, looking really nice. Delta Alpha India Mike Charlie. Pretty simple box, very nice. There's the specs again. <clears throat> All right. These boxes are real heavy, and the models, as I said, they're, they're solid. They're really great, solid molds, very nice, great detail. Super excited to have these two. I know Phoenix had done some of the models of the A380s and stuff, but I picked up uh, three of the Aviation 400 ones. The, these two, and then a Korean Air one, which you'll see later on. Um, so looks like I need it. Pull that off. Get this out here. Put the stand off to the side, as always. And where's the other little. Where's the other gear piece? Oh, is it with the stand still? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the other piece is with the stand. The gear door pieces. Don't need it, though. We just need the actual gear to put on. Uh, so we'll get right to it. Here's the model. Really nice with the plastic over it and everything. Wow. Oh, these... these oh, it's so big. It's so heavy. Woo! Alrighty. I can't get that back in there somehow. Whatever, we'll figure it out after. But I gotta put it away. All right. Chonky boy. All right, here's the model. We're gonna have to just set it down gently. As we try and get the gear out here now. To put on. Get the nose gear on first. Slots right in there, very nice. Let's get this one in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And it's really nice, these magnets, everything does stay really well. Um, which I think is very nice for for you know this level of flexibility where you can do such a thing it's really nice 
All right, there we go. Hopefully I installed them right, I think I did. Um, yeah, anyway. I think the only major thing actually that was noted um, by Yesterday Airlines and I noticed actually is I think the gear, these, I think these main gear are a little too far back. I think they're supposed to be a little bit more forward. Could be wrong, but uh, yeah, anyway, it still looks fantastic and it's still really cool that you, we, you know, we have such a detachable gear system and everything that's really detailed, um, not flimsy and everything, and it, you know, it stays and looks well, it looks good at everything and it functions well. All right, so let's take it, let's zoom in here. All right, we have the nose on this one, same as the other one, the gear, everything looks good. Looks like there's actually some issues with the window there, some sort of scratches there on the, yeah, there's a scratches there on that windshield. Uh, that's interesting there. Huh, not sure what's up with that. It's not on the other one. But anyway, you got the Lufthansa logo and the Starline logo and a little bit of yellow, that little yellow card there next to the door. That's the only yellow you're gonna find on this aircraft is that one, this one, and the other one. A little bit of yellow. MC there in the gear door, and the gear looks just like the other one, very nice. All the little markings for the pedo tubes and attitude indicators and the static ports, etc. Airbus A380, and this aircraft is named Peking. Um, Beijing's, I guess, like another name for that, but it's Peking. Uh, Chinese there next to it, and Lufthansa titles, and then the doors, and everything looks good. All the aerials on the top, the little beacons. Uh, beacon lights on the top there, and that nice red antenna at the bottom. Moving along, got the engines and the wings, very, very nice. Um, looking really, really good. Great detail. Fantastic job. Great mounting and everything. Winglets, the uh, look very nice, very sharp. Um... You got the aerials there, the antenna at the top there, the Wi-Fi dome, another little antenna. Got the door, all the doors at the back with the um, little slide door markings and everything looking really nice. Registration there, Delta uh, India, Delta Alpha India Mike, Charlie, my bad, and the German flag. And then here is, so now, got the blue, the darker blue almost, um, with the white uh, logo there. Very nice. I do miss the yellow, but... It's grown on me, it doesn't look terrible. There's a nose view. Looks very, very sharp. Great, uh, great mold, great model. Got the cargo door there, and on the back there, the uh, cargo door and the bulk bin door. And then, yeah, the gear. Looking really nice. No beacon at the bottom, but that's okay. We got the antenna and whatnot. Um, so very, very nice, a, a nice model. Um, both of these are fantastic. The mole's fantastic. They're Aviation 400. They always do a good job. Um, oh, we'll put these, we'll have to put them nose to nose. Hopefully they can fit both in the frame there. Two, these two big boys. All right, there we go. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh, if you roll it, it kind of comes out there. That's interesting. Um, but there. There we have it, guys. These two fantastic Aviation 400 models. Um, both of Thons is in the fleet now. Super excited to have these. Um, we just need Aviation 400 to do 747s, and that would be good. Um, I don't know if they'll make a 747-400 or 800 mold. I'm not sure, but... You know, with these A380s, I'm quite happy, and they've done a lot already. Don't know how many more they're going to make in terms of variations, like livery-wise and whatnot, but nonetheless, these, are, these models look incredible. Very well done, and I'm very happy to have these. They look fantastic. I'm super excited to display them in an airport one day, and uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more mall unboxing and review videos as well as other content. Smash that uh, like button if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.